continue building this uh, uh, restaurant order management application so i actually made some changes to this one uh, to show the categories and uh, menu items so first i'll just run through the changes that's been made so uh, if if you look into the pending changes i've added uh, two extra items one is the category items and one is the individual items the category items basically shows us the list of uh, uh, categories and then the individual menu item will show us the the individual menu plus the picture plus the price plus the item name so as uh, i've shown earlier so i'm actually uh, putting these items uh, over here so these are all the individual menu list so we have name category image and the price and then uh, we also have another one uh, where we actually uh, show uh, i mean get the list of categories so these are all the possible categories that we could have so now we go jump into our menu so here uh, what we have done is so uh, we import the the necessary data from the data provider so restaurant info is already there categories and then we also bring in uh, the menu items so we just put them all together like this and then uh, we added uh, two extra components uh, one is individual items and the other one is categories items so individual items is to show individual items and categories item is to show the category item so uh, inside this flex box uh, so if we compare uh, the changes that's been made so after we import uh, the necessary components so first uh, we are actually showing the category items and then uh, uh, we are actually uh, showing the uh, the menu individual menu items so uh, for the categories items what we are doing is uh, we actually created a, a new component and then it takes uh, two argument basically one is uh, uh, the color so we use the, the same color that we are using and then the other one is the category list uh, which uh, we actually get from the data so categories dot categories so now if we go into the definition of this one so basically uh, this use effect is uh, doing nothing and then we are just printing it out to see if we are getting the items that we want from the props so if that's the case uh, we just uh, go inside and return this uh, uh, component basically so it's a flex component from chakra ui which wraps the content and justifies the content to the center and aligns item to the center and it has margin of 5 and then we take the props we grab this uh, unique category uh, that we passed which is basically a list of uh, different categories and then uh, we actually iterate through it so uh, the first uh, uh, variable will give us the item in the list and the second one will give us the index of it so we use the index to set the key of our uh, component uh, which will we will iterate through and then which is actually a box with a margin of one padding of one and then we have a button which uh, actually the color of the text is uh, white and then the background color of the button is actually the variable we just passed which is the standard color and then the item is actually the item name which is actually the item in the uh, the list early on and then we close the button we close the box and then we close our uh, uh, the looping statement so this is the end of our looping statement and then uh, we actually close the the flex component so once once uh, we actually complete this so i will comment this guy out save it and then we open our application which is fat belly 
which will actually uh, show something like this so you can see burgers grill salad sides soba drinks so let's just uh, clear console refresh yeah we don't have any error then we just go to the mobile view and then we can actually see it like this so uh, I will just uh, put them side by side exit full screen so uh, now we can show our categories we can't uh, we didn't add any functionalities uh, to this one uh, and then at the bottom uh, we actually have a uh, flex wrap and then we are actually putting our uh, uh, back button over there so that's basically the background color is gray and then the color scheme or you can call it just color uh, which is going to be white on click it's going to do nothing now then we align the content to the center so now uh, we will see uh, we will show the menu items I will uh, uncomment the item I'm not going to save it but now what's what's happening here is uh, we are actually grabbing the menu items from our uh, data provider and then we are iterating through it same concept that we used inside this categories items component we have item and index item will give access to that array uh, the json object of each and every single item and then uh, the index will give us access to the index of the any particular uh, item inside the array so what is happening is so we it's actually a div component div equivalent uh, in a chakra UI which is box and then we created this new component called individual items uh, which takes a few parameters one is the currency which is SGD so the other one is key uh, if we don't need the key I think we don't need the key if it is not needed we can actually remove it I think we can remove the key and then the index not sure if we need this uh, we can remove it for now and then the actual item and then the color so now we go inside this guy individual item so uh, here we are using the index but we don't need this because we already uh, passed it to the box item and then uh, basically what we have here is it's a, it's a flex wrapper basically a margin x margin you know margin x padding x padding y uh, those respective values you can actually play around with this one and then we align the items to center justify the content to center and then we are creating uh, this box with some margin and padding and then uh, background color uh, you can actually uh, just give a simpler value so this is like uh, complicating stuff but uh, you can actually make it simpler so we can see how we can make it simpler later uh, 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 what you can do is just remove this one and then the maximum width and max minimum uh, width uh, it's it's same so that you know it stays at uh, 250 pixel and then the border width uh, it just gives us that effect yeah which we will see and then we round it and then we add shadows and then the position is relative after that we have this uh, flex component so before we go any further so we just save this one and then save this guy as well so we can see uh, the effect of uh, this individual item component so uh, what's happening is so it's taking uh, the data in our data provider for uh, menu list it's iterating through and then it's showing so you can see truffle mushroom soba double cheeseburger mala burger maple bacon burger so on and so forth 
so if you look into uh, this one what's happening so basically uh, each and every single component that we see here is design is the result of uh, these items so I will close this guy so it gives us a bigger picture so now we know how the design is so I'll just go full screen on this one so we get an, a good overview so now uh, we are actually creating a div component uh, with the respective uh, settings and then uh, we are creating a flex box uh, uh, with the box and then uh, we are actually specifying the item name inside that one and then we are specifying the category name inside that one and then we are actually creating another flex box to align stuff at the center and then to show the image and then we are actually like uh, fixing the max height so that it looks uniform throughout and then uh, the image uh, name basically uh, and then we are closing the flex and then we are creating another flex uh, where we actually uh, show the price and the currency so which is uh, just a box actually and then we close that flex and then we create another flex align its center again and then there is a button to add this item to cart uh, the props and then uh, the color scheme and then the background color so what we can do is we can actually remove this this is uh, actually not needed and then add item to cart currently on click so nothing will happen here we will add some functionality to this one as we go along to build this application so now uh, uh, this will uh, give us the visual effect of uh, a decent looking uh, application that shows the menu items and the category so yeah so this is actually the outcome so we know that we didn't uh, invest uh, much time on uh, designing uh, doing any CSS work Chakra UI uh, can give us uh, a decent UI of this quality so that's uh, so awesome so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'll just put this to the right side and then I'll just go back to this one I can see that uh, the add to cart is uh, uh, darker which is not so nice so we just make it white so that uh, you know you, you actually just have that proper feeling so background color is from our uh, color palette so now we just add normal color which is actually white so now it should uh, yeah give us that the bright view to add it to the cart so now you click here then you can see so add to add to cart item add to cart button so we don't have any functionality added that's why it's throwing error but apart from that everything is actually like uh, good to go so in the upcoming video tutorials so we will show the menu based on the selection uh, in the categories and then uh, we can uh, add items to the cart so we select this one we show a pop-up and then we select the count and then we can add it to the cart once we add it to the cart so we will show it from here yeah thanks for watching bye for now